whenever there is any crisis or any major challenge, we have to be ready with uh, any alternative solutions for our growers. In 2014, we had a disease, the banana freckle disease, which affected the major banana variety. And the impact was so high that many growers abandoned the field. I'm Babita de Surat. Um, I'm a research scientist at the Food and Agriculture Research and Extension Institute uh, Mauritius, a small island in the Indian Ocean. Currently, I'm responsible for research and development in the fruit sector, uh, namely uh, responsible for crops like banana, avocado, breadfruit, macadamia, and recently we took on board macadamia and berries. I was always fascinated uh, by science. So since my childhood, I wanted to either become a doctor or a dentist, and then my third option was an agronomist. So because of limited uh, facilities, I opted to remain in Mauritius to do my agricultural studies. So I ended up being an agronomist at Fari. Although we are a small island state, it doesn't mean that we are lagging behind in research. In fact, we have all the facilities on the island. Uh, like for us, for, res uh, for researchers, we, we have uh, all the technologies that allows us to keep us abreast with the latest publications. And uh, so for me, uh, being isolated, it has not impacted on our research. I have both lab work and field works. Um, I'm, uh, most of our travels are on the station at Fari, but we also work with, closely with our growers because they are the first stakeholders, so uh, we work in proximity with them. In 2008, we got the food crisis problem. Now we all went through this pandemic and then now there's the Ukraine war. All these are factors that uh, make us um, reorient our research so that our growers, uh, their problems are alleviated. I already had a job plasm collection from where we were able to identify varieties that were resistant. And then I provided uh, mother plants of these varieties to the tissue culture lab. And now these varieties, which we uh, already launched as alternatives, they are being propagated and provided to our banana growers. But at the end of the day, it's a grower who decides. And, and this decision is mostly market driven. If the market allows him to sell his product at a higher price, then he's going to accept whatever new technology we're going to propose to them. I joined Fari uh, some 22 years ago. I am a mother of three. As a women scientist, I didn't have much challenge, I would say. The Institute has given equal opportunities to both men and women. I would encourage more and more girls and women to be involved in science. It is a very dynamic area and it's very challenging and uh, you earn lots of respect in that. You should be able to do lots of networking. Uh, like we, uh, most of our colleagues here, we, we have networking with very uh, many international agent, uh, institutes and this is one of the major part of our work. So this is my message to most of the women scientists, I would say. So don't stay in your box, come out of your box, and also think outside of the box. This is what's going to make us grow.